Hello my YouTube friends. There are a lot of Mac users that want to live stream. And let's be honest, there's not very much information that's going to help them stream well. So I picked up an M1 MacBook to help all of you Mac streamers do it better. Capturing desktop audio is always a challenge on a Mac, but it's not impossible. In fact, it's pretty easy. So today I'm going to show you how to do it. Oh, and by the way, it's totally free. So let's get to it. Every live stream or video needs some sort of good music, right? But how do you find good music for free that's not going to get you strikes to your live streams or your video? Today's sponsor, StreamTunes, is the answer. Now, StreamTunes is a 100% free platform of high quality DMCA safe music. And it's always free. No strings attached, no bogus signups, nothing. Just free. Not only that, but StreamTunes is available on Spotify, Apple, Amazon, and most if not all streaming services, including YouTube Music. And they have a library of more than 800 songs and it's growing by the day. Another really cool part about StreamTunes is that every time you play their songs on any of the services, a donation is made to Music Counts. And this charity helps to keep music programs going in high schools all over Canada. And that's just awesome. Be sure to check out StreamTunes for yourself. There is a link in the description. And like I said, it's totally 100% free. To add desktop audio, to our live streams, we're going to use a software called Black Hole. And by the way, it's totally free. The links are in the description so you can download it and follow along. That is the best way to learn. So that link below is going to take you to this page right here. And on it, you're going to put your email address and your name and all that stuff and subscribe. And they don't send you a lot of garbage, so you don't have to worry about that. You go to your email and you click on the link, it brings you here. You're just going to click this top one and that downloads it to your machine. You can right click and click open in your downloads location and then just continue all the way through this and you have to agree to the terms and then install you might have to put your password in here you probably will and then click install software and then you can close and you can just go ahead and move this installer to the trash you don't need it anymore and now you're all set so we're gonna go into launcher and then we're gonna go in here and then we're gonna select MIDI and we're gonna click the little plus down in the bottom left hand corner and we're going to create a multi output device and then and you just want to make sure that MacBook Pro speakers are selected and Black Hole 2 channel is selected right here. Now the order of these does matter so make sure MacBook Pro speakers is over top of Black Hole 2 channel. And then we're going to go ahead and right click on multi output device and click use this device for sound output. Then we can go up here to the top and click on our little audio piece. It'll drop that down and you can see with multi output device selected we have no control over the sound volume at all but I'll show you how to fix that later all you need to know is you need to have multi output device selected when you go into OBS and if you have that selected then we're all ready to go okay now that's installed let's get this configured in OBS here in OBS we're gonna go ahead and we're going to click the plus under sources and we're gonna go up to audio output capture and I'm just gonna type desktop in here so we know what it is and then click OK we're gonna drop this down and we're going to select black whole two channel and click OK and now we're capturing our desktop audio so we can go up to the top to our volume control and drop that down and you can see that we have MacBook Pro speakers selected and you have that selected so that you can adjust the sound I'm gonna go ahead and adjust the audio all the way up and then once I select the multi output device which is what you need to select in order for this to work you can see our volume control is no longer something we can use so you have to switch to MacBook Pro speakers in order to adjust the volume and then switch back to multi output device in order for this to work in OBS so now we can just go and start a YouTube video so we're getting some desktop audio and you can see it's working in here we can just adjust the volume right here in OBS to make sure the levels are what we're looking for and that's it now there are a couple of things you should keep in mind when you're actually capturing your desktop audio that's all of your desktop audio so any kind of notifications or alerts you have on you'll hear those on stream but you can also capture anything your discord a game Spotify whatever audio you want to capture from your computer it's gonna come in through your desktop audio now that was easy this is just the first in a series that I'm gonna do 
on the N1 Max and OBS live streaming. So you want to be sure to subscribe and click that bell so you don't miss any new content that's going to come out on the channel. If you want to see how to build a full dynamic stream using built-in tools in OBS, you should check this video out. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks that can help make you a better live streamer or YouTuber, subscribe to the channel. Big thanks to StreamTunes for sponsoring this video. Their links are in the description down below under sponsors. You can definitely help the channel by supporting those sponsors. I couldn't possibly do this without you, so thank you. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.